This tutorial introduces DevOps practices integrating GitHub, AWS code pipeline and cloud formation. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully automated pipeline that can deliver your infrastructure to any AWS region in minutes. In this video, you are going to learn Principles of Infrastructure as Code and Continuous Deployment Using AWS Code Pipeline to Automatically Deploy Your Infrastructure Using AWS Cloud Formation for Managing Your Infrastructure Using AWS Identity and Access Management Service for Setting Temporary Permissions First Step Configuration in this step, you connect your GitHub and AWS accounts and create permissions for AWS services to act on your behalf. When using infrastructure as code, you store your infrastructure description in repositories like GitHub. This video describes the infrastructure we use with an AWS cloud formation template. A template is a YAML document that uses the cloud formation domain language. You use AWS Code Pipeline along with CloudFormation to automatically deploy your infrastructure. To do so, you connect Code Pipeline and your GitHub repository. Head over to Code Pipeline console and create a new GitHub connection. You need to authorize the connection between your AWS and GitHub accounts. You also need to create a link to the repository you gonna use. To do so, you need a GitHub app. For security reasons, select only the repository you gonna use. Code Pipeline pulls the template from your repository and delivers it to the CloudFormation service. CloudFormation needs temporary permissions, a role, for creating resources on your behalf. A role sets permissions that enables other services to perform cloud operations, such as creating or deleting resources. Both roles and permissions are defined on AWS Identity and Access Management Service. Go to the IAM console, choose Roles and create a role. This role applies to CloudFormation, which is the service responsible for creating AWS resources described in your template. Attach all permissions you need. Second step, create and run pipeline. In this step, you create a continuous delivery pipeline. This pipeline is responsible for pulling your code from GitHub and deploying it to cloud formation. You can find the cloud formation template we use in this video in our GitHub repository. Please check out the link in the video description. Sign in to the Code Pipeline console and create a new pipeline. 
The pipeline in this video consists of two stages. The source stage sets the template source location. The deploy stage sets the template deployment. Proceed to the source stage. Choose GitHub as your source provider. Select the connection previously created. And the source repository. By default, your pipeline runs every time your template changes. Skip the build stage as cloud formation templates don't need it. Finally, set the deployment stage. Choose the deployment provider and its configurations. The role you use here is the one you created in the first step of this video. Review and create your pipeline. Immediately after creating your pipeline, Code Pipeline starts its execution. It means that the CloudFormation template is retrieved from the GitHub repository to be deployed to the CloudFormation service. AWS CloudFormation creates a stack, which is a set of AWS resources described in your template. Once AWS resources are provisioned, application users can access them. You can inspect resources by opening the CloudFormation console. And choosing the Resources tab. Choose any link to check out the resource. This video shows an API on the API Gateway Service console which consists of an API and its resources and methods. Last step. Update Infra and Cleanup. This step shows how a continuous delivery pipeline can automatically keep your infrastructure always updated. Go to your GitHub repository. Change your CloudFormation template Commit the change. Your commit triggers code pipeline that start the pipeline you previously created. As result, an Amazon S3 bucket has been created. To delete the resources created in this video, start with your CloudFormation stack.
then delete the code pipeline pipeline and the github connection Finally, go to your GitHub account and delete the connection authorization and app.